This is the North Star Show, and I'm your host, Bruce Krentz. Welcome back. We've got a great show coming up this week. We've got Will Lutz, who talks a little bit about his first goal. We do one minute with him. We've got Assistant Captain Bryce Horning on everything from the buddies he'd like to take to Country Fest all the way through to who he thinks is going to do well this weekend. And coming right up, my interview with Assistant Coach Ron Mimko. Here we are with assistant coach Ron Mimko. Ron, another tough weekend on the road for the North Stars. It seems that we just can't sort of get on top on the scoreboard. So we'll do some blues and golds with you. Blues, things that uh, didn't go so well this past weekend or sort of leading well, up to the weekend. Let's look at Friday's game. Uh, Thrashers, actually, we had two good periods with them. Uh, it was 2-1 going into the third. Uh, Got to like that. We averaged like 30 giveaways a game. In that particular game, we only had 18. So that's a positive. Um, they got a goal around the eight-minute mark, and then the roof caved in on us. Uh, they scored three in about in just under two minutes, and that was the ball game. So, two good periods and about 14, 15 minutes in the third. And, but unfortunately, that's the way it ended up. Saturday, uh, Central Plains, same thing. We lost there, six-one. Didn't get out of the gate well. They scored early, uh, three-nothing, six-one period leads, zero-zero in the third. So one good period out of three. They ain't gonna cut it. Uh, Sunday, it looked like we might pull this one out. Uh, we were dominated in the first period, uh, got outshot 19-4. to four. Good thing. We were up 3-2, believe it. Or, sorry, we were down 3-2. We battled back in the second to outscore them 2-1. So we had a 4-4 tie going into the third. It was going along good again. And um, close game, they scored one. And once again, we take an untimely penalty, and they capitalized on it. And I think they had an empty netter or whatever, but ended up 8-4. Eight eight on four. the plus side... Uh, Lance got his first goal against uh, Yellowhead on Sunday. If there was this instant replay, though, I think it may have been called back because there was a bit of a kicking motion, but he'll tell his dad that he roofed it. <laughs> It'll go down in history as the prettiest goal of Absolutely. The Who's going to know five years from now? It's not on tape because Shaw wasn't there. <laughs> Excellent. So it sounds like a little bit of inconsistency, I think, in, in the past weekend, and that's sort of been the story all year long. It seems that the, the guys can play with any team in the league, and then there's just some, some breakdowns, whatever you want to call them, and then, then things start to slip away a little bit. You're exactly right. Uh, that's what happens. Uh, but we just keep moving on. we got uh, eight games or six home games, three left on the road for nine. We want to finish strong. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be an excellent homestand. And I know last week, Coach Corman talked about uh, finishing the year out strong and sort of having that be a lesson to a lot of the kids in terms of how you got to be in life, right? You got to keep kicking, you got to keep trying, and you never give up. And so I think that is that likely the message that we're going to hear from the coaching staff to the kids and something we'd like to see? Absolutely, because it's like uh, James talked about that a few weeks ago, I believe, where the small victories within the team, like Lance getting his first goal. There's one more forward, Braden Pollock, who did hit the bar. Uh, uh, one of the games on the weekend for could have been his first goal, so there's something we can look forward to. Absolutely. We've got six games coming up. We're looking forward to lots of great things. That's assistant coach Ron Mimko. Thanks a lot, Ron. Thank you. You're watching the North Star Show on Shaw TV. Bryce Horning joins me now. Bryce, uh, no wins on the weekend, but you were named Player of the Month not too long ago. So uh, tell us about how things have been going with you and your line mates and uh, how you guys have managed to have a little bit of success, even though the team can't quite get on top. Uh, well, last weekend there, Mikey's been uh, pretty sick, so he wasn't playing. It's just on Sunday, so uh, pretty rough with him. We all did in the lineup, but uh, back this weekend, so hopefully the numbers will go up again. And uh, we were talking to Coach Mimko a short while ago, and he said that really the guys are playing really well. You're pl keeping up with the teams, but you're just having some little breakdowns. Do you think that's, uh, that's what's happening, or do you have some other thoughts on uh, yeah. why you're not quite getting yeah, on top? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, we're playing good up till even third period, or like we'll have two good periods and then one bad period. You've got to play full 60-minute games, not 40 minutes, so that's what's costing us. Guys are having trouble stringing together 60 minutes for sure. So this coming weekend, uh, what are your predictions? Look in your crystal ball. Who should we look for to make an impact uh, here at home this coming weekend? Uh, I'm going to have to say uh, one of the goalies. You know, both of them have been uh, competing pretty hard with each other, stepping up in practice. So we'll see which one of them uh, battles it out this week and gets a start. Absolutely. And uh, 
couple of goal scorers, maybe other than yourself. Anybody look like they got a hot hand in practice or talking big on the bus? I think uh, Byron's been working pretty hard, so he's due. He's due for a couple this weekend. It'd be nice to see him break out a little bit. Uh, last one, Country Fest, who are you looking forward to? Uh, not only Paul, but uh, hopefully my buddy Zips comes along too. He's talking about not coming until next year, but hopefully he tags along. It'd be, it'd be nice if that happened. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Captain. Brace Horning. Thank you. Tied up along the boards. Now it's Lutz trying to dump the puck in. Now Lutz with it. William Lutz scores! Lutz! We're back. This is one minute with Will Lutz. Uh, got a couple of goals in the last sort of uh, couple of weekends. So talk us through those. How about the first one? Oh, jeez. Uh, i just like to thank the, the goalie for just letting that one go in. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how it happened. I just got at the blue line, just put it on net. Uh, luckily, I didn't fan on it. I'm pretty uh, known for that, but uh, lucky I got my first one off my back. And uh, the other Sunday, I uh, just Richie just gave it to me, just cross slot and just little tap in. Little, little easy one. You're dangerous everywhere from the ringette line <laughs> to the goal line, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Looking pretty good. Let's jump right into it. Paul, you got one minute on the clock. Here we go. This is a toughie, actually. Who's your favorite actor? Oh, uh, Will Ferrell. Very nice. Um, who on the team takes the most selfies? Most selfies? Uh, I have to go with Tony or, or Connor. They're pretty Got good. Got a big, big on the selfies? Yeah, I think so. Love posting themselves on social media. <laughs> Speaking of social media, Facebook or Twitter? Twitter. I don't know. The team's tw heavily, <laughs> heavily to the Twitter, this team. I like Facebook. Favorite class? Uh, Can't be chem gym. Chemistry. Nice. Who's the faster skater, you or your brother? Uh, I like to think I am, but I, I guess we'd have to see in a race. That'd be. For, for now, you are. Yeah. Favorite pregame meal? Uh, spaghetti. Or Everybody lasagna. with the spaghetti. Uh, on a <laughs> okay, on a breakaway, shoot or deke? Oh, uh, I try to get it off, so uh, probably shoot. Ne ne never happen. <laughs> uh, cleanest teammate. First on the uh, ice. Oh, cleanest I, on the ice. I know Eichel said me, but. Uh, I think Calum. Calum's a pretty uh, nice player on the ice, but he can get pretty, pretty dirty out there. <laughs> and uh, cleanest, just personal hygiene all around. Uh, I think Pollock uh, always looks pretty sharp. But. Yeah, but I mean, his what he dresses like before the games. Uh, ouch. Fair enough. But sure, let's go with Pollock. Pollock. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite band? Uh, I have to go with. Uh, oh, that's a toughie. Uh, Say Little River Band. Ooh, that is very nice. I would have gone Thompson Community Band. Oh, that one's good too. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Uh, Coke. Don't endorse. I wish you would have gone chocolate milk. I don't <laughs> endorse that pop stuff. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready for a game? When do you show up at the rink? Uh, about two hours before. Beauty. Besides Shaw, our favorite channel? TSN. Dynamite. That's one minute with Will Lutz. Okay, okay, I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. I'm ready. Hi, my name is Lance Laycock. I'm number 24 in my position center. I'm from Thompson, Manitoba, and I went to Westwood Elementary School. That's the North Star Show for another week. My thanks to Assistant Captain Bryce Horning, to Will Lutz, and to Assistant Coach Ron Mimko. Thompson lost a hockey great and a huge supporter of minor sport this week when Red Sangster passed away. All our thoughts and prayers go to his family and all his friends in Thompson and Northern Manitoba.